I'm Kirk Andrews, a seasoned Secret Service agent with a knack for sniffing out anomalies in the system. My job? To hunt down counterfeiters. But this story isn't about me, it's about a brilliant young woman named Clarissa Nguyen. Clarissa was a prodigy, no doubt about it. She graduated from MIT at just 19 with a degree in computer engineering. Fortune 500 companies were practically throwing money at her for her intricate and efficient programming code. Coding was her passion, and the lucrative side hustle allowed her to live comfortably while pursuing her dreams. One evening, Clarissa was watching the financial news. A segment about the fluctuating value of the dollar sparked an audacious idea in her mind. With her expertise in technology, why not create a perfect industrial printer capable of producing flawless U.S. currency? She envisioned a machine that could print money so precise that it would be indistinguishable from genuine bills. She threw herself into the project, meticulously designing the ultimate printer. Clarissa incorporated the latest advancements in printing technology and added her own sophisticated algorithms to ensure the printed currency matched the real thing down to the tiniest detail. She included a subtle distinguishing feature in her bills, something only she could identify, a safeguard for future purposes. After months of development, she finally completed her prototype. To ensure it was flawless, Clarissa began testing her counterfeit bills in small, inconspicuous places. She visited mom-and-pop stores, gas stations, and local markets, carefully observing the transactions. To her delight, no one noticed the difference. For eight months, Clarissa refined her process, tweaking the printer and retesting the bills. Confident in her success, she moved on to larger venues. She frequented racetracks and casinos, using her counterfeit money in higher-stakes environments. For another five months, she continued this method without detection. Clarissa's confidence grew. She decided to expand her operations overseas, targeting international casinos and high-end stores. Her counterfeit currency flowed through the global economy unnoticed, a testament to her skill and meticulous planning. But in my line of work, there's always someone watching. I had been tracking a subtle, almost imperceptible anomaly in the currency flow. The Secret Service hadn't detected any counterfeit bills, but my instincts told me something was off. Months turned into a year, and still, I had no concrete evidence. But I was persistent, refusing to let the trail go cold. My gut feeling, coupled with my analytical mind, drove me to continue investigating. Little did Clarissa know, her perfect scheme had caught the attention of a relentless adversary. As Clarissa expanded her operations, she remained vigilant, unaware that I was inching closer to uncovering her secret. The cat and mouse game had begun, setting the stage for a high-stakes showdown between a brilliant young counterfeiter and a determined Secret Service agent. Clarissa's motivation went beyond financial gain. She grew up in a financially unstable household, where her single mother struggled to make ends meet. Her drive to create counterfeit money stemmed from a desire to provide financial security for her family and to challenge the system she believed had failed people like her mother. Despite her illegal activities, she wrestled with the moral implications of her actions, often justifying them as a means to an end. Clarissa's younger sister, Emily, was a high school senior who admired her sister's intelligence but remained unaware of her illegal activities. Emily's future became a driving force for Clarissa's actions. On my side, I had my partner, Agent Lisa Carter, a sharp and intuitive agent who provided a different perspective on the case. She sometimes questioned my obsessive methods but respected my dedication. My commitment to my job was rooted in a personal tragedy. My father was a victim of a counterfeit scam that ruined our family business. This personal vendetta fueled my relentless pursuit of counterfeiters. While driven by my vendetta, I faced pressure from my superiors to deliver results quickly. This pressure led me to consider bending the rules, blurring the lines between right and wrong in my pursuit of justice. Clarissa had a tech-savvy hacker friend named Marco Hernandez, who unknowingly helped her refine her counterfeit operations. Marco's skills and curiosity made him a potential threat if he ever discovered Clarissa's secret. 
Clarissa struggled with the ethical implications of her actions. Her initial justification, that she was using her skills to secure her family's future, began to wear thin as the stakes got higher. She started to see the broader impact of her counterfeit money on small businesses and individuals, adding to her internal conflict. While Clarissa remained vigilant, unaware that I was getting closer to uncovering her secret, I navigated the moral complexities of my job while staying true to my principles. The stage was set for a high-stakes showdown between a brilliant young counterfeiter and a determined secret service agent. The cat-and-mouse game had truly begun.